Japan is arguably the world's most archaeology crazy country. They spend over a billion of public funds annually to excavate some 13,000 sites. Archaeology books are bestsellers and archaeology specials are broadcast on primetime television. Why is this very, very critical and important to the Japanese? Japanese consciousness. This desire to establish an identity overwhelms many uh, thinkers such that cheating is rampant. Around November 2000, an acclaimed Stone Age archaeologist uh, at the Tohoku Paleolithic Institute, Shinji Fujimura, confessed that he fabricated evidence. This confession came after he was secretly caught on videotape burning supposed artifacts at a site. They are very deep-seated psychological reasons why Fujimura lied. His act is only a microcosm of the general thrust of biased world history and official propaganda. Let us discuss this topic. Indigenous Japanese were they Africans. When did the humans settle in Japan? Who were these are people that settled in Japan? Where did these people that settled in Japan come from? These are some of the modern leaders of uh, Japan. They all look Asian. They all look Chinese. They all look like modern Vietnamese or people from Far East. Are these the descendants or the indigenous people that are founded Japan? Let us establish some vital parameters in our discussion. Number one, what do we understand about ancient races? This is a formative journey where we are informed by researchers and archaeologists, ethnographers, philologists, and many others that humans migrated out of Africa in two waves. Some scientists say these people adapted to new environment high altitude for example to adapt to low oxygen uh, in the uh, environment where they found themselves in however we have discovered that uh, almost 2.8 billion years ago people were already civilized in southern africa great lakes region this comes from the collect of uh, balls that prove man has been in africa for 2.8 billion years ago who were these people where did they come from these are the indigenous autochthonous people of the planet earth so when did the humans settle in japan as they migrated across the whole earth it is quite clear that the evidence that we have today is that 40,000 years ago the first human beings settled in japan who were these people this is the crux of our story so we know that they were not europeans or asians indigenous people in any part of the earth are a much darker race with melanin therefore they could never have been europeans or caucasian or any other other than being indigenous negrito or black or melanin dominant humans the first europeans looked dramatically different from the modern europeans that live there today new research suggests that caucasians were a recent addition to this continent or to the human race arriving on the continent 8,000 years ago but from where this is the yamnaya modern day ukraine russia 4,500 years ago they moved into europe and almost 9,000 years ago they moved into europe via modern day turkey uh, anatolia so this is established uh, by genetics europeans drawn from three asian asian tribes this is a bbc uh news uh, documentary Almost 8,500 years ago, the gene variant SLC45A1 became prevalent, lightening original melanin dominant skin. This dramatically contradicts the traditional view uh, that lower sunlight is required or is an adaptation that gave people to be able to live in Europe and then have pale or lighter skin. You can also go to this uh, website uh, shown here, sciencemag.org where it says how Europeans evolved white skin. New data confirms that uh, hunter-gatherers in Spain, Luxembourg, and Hungary had darker skin. They lacked two versions of genes SLC24A5 and SLC45A2 that led to a depigmentation 
and therefore pale skin in Europeans are today. Now, what has this got to do with the Japanese or Asian Japanese? With these facts, let us walk our journey now because we've established that indigenous races were of darker skin or melanin dominant humans. Therefore, the people that settled in Japan 40,000 years ago would never have been like this or like that. Let's establish this fact uh, with evidence. About 40,000 years ago, black Africans moved into China. They are known as the Jomoni. The Jomoni period is the time of prehistory in Japanese history, dating from 14,000 to 1000 BCE. The Jomoni proceeded forth and entered Japan, as shown in this diagram. These were to become the first humans on this planet Earth to inhabit the Japanese islands. A few centuries later, one more group and some more groups followed. The Ainu followed. And when you look at these masks and this evidence of the Jomoni, they look Bantu because they are Bantu. They were also followed by another significant group called the Ainu. And the history and scholarship has hidden the evidence of who these Ainu were. The mysterious Ainu people of Japan, the name Ainu is quite obvious and apparent that it is Anu or Antu or Anu or Anu, which is Bantu. These are the people and this is the site where you can go and view them. These people are believed to have reached Japan from a number of areas, from Taiwan into the islands of Okinawa, from Korea to Kyushu and from Russia, Hokkaido. Let us not forget that the indigenous people of the whole earth were melanin dominant humans. It is clear that the Ainu also may have come from the by the Melanesian root. The Ainu or Aanu genes can still be found in 40% of modern Japanese as well as Mongolians and Tibetans. The skeletal remains from southern China are predominantly negroid. The people of that area practice single burials, which is an African ritual. In northern China, blacks founded many civilizations. The three major empires of China were the Xia dynasty, the Shang dynasty, and the Zhou dynasty. These were the first dynasties founded by the Mongoloid people in China called the Hua, the founders of Xia dynasty and Shang dynasty. These came from the fertile African crescent by way of Iran. Blacks in China were raising silkworms and making silk. The culture hero Wang Di has a direct link to Africa. His name was pronounced in all Chinese Yuai Huandi or Hu Nak Nkunte. He arrived in China from the west in 282 BCE and settled along the banks of Lo River in Shangxi. Kunte is a common clan name among the Manding speakers. The Africans or blacks that founded civilizations in China were often called Lin Min, black-headed people by the Zhou dynasty. This term is affinity to the Sumero Akkadian term Sagiga black-headed uh, people. This is the picture from the book The Ainu of Japan by Reverend John Pachela, 1892. This picture, along with the drawings from the 1800s, confirms that even only somewhat pure Ainu were black-skinned Negroes with thick bushy hair. It's very clear and very uh, straightforward. Cultural similarities uh, comes through many other things like clothing, language, and many things. But here we show the Jomon heart and the Zulu heart. There is no significant difference. It's the same techniques and same uh, building uh, style. The question of uh, the actual black Japanese as founders of Japan was also answered in a booklet authored by Dr. Mark Heyman in 1989 entitled as Black Shogun of Japan on which he stated the following. The fact remains that Sakanoe no Tamramaro was an African. He was Japanese, he was a great fighting general, he was a Japanese shogun. Here is the man. Also, the scholar Alexander Francis Chamberlain, 1865-1914, April 1911, in the journal Race Development, uh, published an essay titled The Contribution of the Negro to Human Civilization. Again, Sakanoe no Tamramaro, 
a warrior symbolizing Japanese history as the paragon of military virtues is approved and, and shown. Again, more evidence. This is more evidence about the Asian link between Japanese and Africans. This is also a YouTube, which you can go and see. And this is your Yoruba, and this is a Japanese. Japanese skin titled Barbarians of the South, the Portuguese attributed to Kano Domi. You can see they are there, the Bantus there. No question marks about that dominating the whole area there. What about modern uh, Japanese? Where did they come from? At about 350 BCE, a Mongol group called the Ayoi broke off from China and invaded and conquered and destroyed the black civilization in Japan. Those Yayoi are the progenitors of modern Japanese. Of course, they have got Jomon and Ainu mixing. Yes, very, very significant and important. Although we do not have ancient lifelike depictions of the Jomoni and Ainu, we do have pictures and of members of their former migratory groups as they moved out of the source of human origins and human uh, beginnings in ancient Africa. These are the Andaman Islanders of the Indian Ocean, just off the coast of Burma and Thailand. But today, Andaman genes can still be found in a 40% of modern-day Japanese, as well as Mongolians, Tibetans, and genetic testing is continuing and is becoming clear, proving that the ancient Japanese came from many, many areas. Let us not forget that the indigenous or orthoctonous people of the earth were melanin dominant human beings. Here is a painting of Afro -Austro Australian Aborigines, and uh, this is the race of the Ainu and the source of the people that we are discussing who invaded Japan. This is an Ainu elder, he's a Bantu, he's a Muntu. And then this is a, a wiki photo, the first Japanese embassy to Europe in 1586. You can see here, this is uh, Julio Nakaura, Father Mesquita Mancio It, and uh, Martino or Martino Nara uh, Miguel Chijigiwa, indigenous Bantu Japanese. This is uh, King Fudo Mio, Japan. 1000 AD. There again, you look at that. And this is uh, Shakamui, Shakamuni, Buddha tribe, dated 623 AD. There, of 623 AD. Look at that. This is in uh, Hoiji Monastery, Nara, Japan. And these are the Japanese indigenous people. The mulatto is coming up, but more here, mulatto. But all these are uh, indigenous Japanese, these Bantus or melanin dominant humans, so called Negroes or Africans, to uh, simplify our matters. Again, more painted silk scroll depicting the black skinned wisdom King Fudomuyo or Fudomoyo, uh, the immovable one. Fudo is the cosmic Buddha, he is shown with two attendants, Seitaka Doji, who is here. And Kongara Doji Ngara Nkala Doji in uh, this is 1200 AD. Again, Gobujo 710 AD, one of the divas of the eight classes and ten great disciples of Buddha in the Sutra D Lotus, Kong Fuji Temple Nara, Japan. More of the think of uh, the Konum Temple and the divinities are uh, seated around that. Now, this is Japanese Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, 1884-1943, who was a Japanese naval marshal general and the commander-in-chief of the combined fleet during World War II. He died during an inspection tour of forward position in the Solomon Islands when his aircraft was shot down by American P-38 Lightning fighter planes. His death dealt a major blow to the Japanese military morale during the World War, uh, Second World War. You can see that he is more of a Muntu uh, than anything uh, else. The year now of Bantus have vanished in Japan. And now we have got this is uh, the modern Ainu who are mulattoes wearing traditional Ainu clothing at an Ainu tourist center. Same as elsewhere, you find that this is uh, happening and uh, they are significantly 
completely different from the indigenous autochthonous Ainu and uh, Jimono uh, that founded uh, Japan. Now, racism is the major reason why scholars and general uh, perception never entertains the evidence if it comes proving that indigenous Japanese or indigenous people of any part of the earth were bantus or melanin dominant people. Archaeologists admit uh, taking a find because what he discovered was this Shinichi Fujimura, an acclaimed Stone Age archaeologist at the Tohoku Paleolithic Institute, confessed that he fabricated evidence calling into question a number of important discoveries. Fujimura made his confession after he was secretly caught on videotape burning supposed artifacts at the site. Burning evidence. What evidence was he burning? It was the evidence that Bantus are the indigenous people in Asia, including Japan. If in digging and uh, in his archaeological work, he had discovered and found images or statues that looked exactly like him, would he burn it? No. But he discovered the indigenous Muntu, and therefore he went ahead and burned that. So indigenous Japanese, were they Africans? The answer is an emphatic yes, yes, yes. It is a, the time now we acknowledge these facts and uh, allow our brains and our minds and our lives and our thinking to prepare for more unity with this kind of history and accept it and promote it with vigor and with energy. This is the true history of Japan and this is the true history of the whole earth that the indigenous people of any part of the earth were melanin dominant human beings. We now need no faith of self verification but we simply need to use first principle logic. If you want to participate in spreading such kind of message including Afro salvation truths send us an email on join at marifado.com. This is preacher rabbi LM Tumizulu of Marifado saying we are rebuilding our greatness and uh, join us today in this effort because we are the indigenous original first people of this planet till we meet again asante sana